Alright guys, so we gotta talk about another game being added to the list of this jam-packed year, and that is Aliens Dark Descent. A real-time tactics action game where you control a squad of colonial marines as you take on yet another alien outbreak. The game is being developed by Tendalus Interactive. I wanted to check out their track record to see if they actually made good games or if they just released really good trailers that lead to complete duds. However, I was happy to find that their last game, Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, is sitting at a 7.6 user score on Metacritic. I know it's not much, but that's all we really got to work with. After all, that was the only game I could find that these people had developed. However, it is nice to see that it pleased the fan base, so that's really good. With that out of the way, I want to take a look at this new trailer of Dark Descent and to see if this game will be something worth picking up on June 20th. However, before we roll that sweet trailer footage, I want to take a brief moment and welcome anyone new to the channel. If you are new, please consider subscribing. I got a ton of stuff in the works that I want to share with you all. Also, if you do happen to enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. But anyways guys, we got a lot to get into, so without further ado, let's get into it. Dark Descent is a real-time, squad-based tactical action game. You are the commander. Marines are your weapon. You are tasked with investigating a sinister uprising that caused a vicious xenomorph outbreak on the moon. Okay, so really quick, I want to jump in and just say I already know where the game's story is going to be going. It's going to be another generic plotline where the humans are experimenting on the xenomorphs. That's kind of blah. Maybe it's something else, but I pretty much could guarantee that's going to be the overall plot of this game. However, hopefully it leads to something really cool. So check this out. It is said that we're going to be facing a ton of different enemies in this game, ranging from face hungers to alien queens. Plus it even says a brand new threat unique to this alien storyline. So I was thinking it would be cool that instead of just the over experiment on the aliens and they escape and that's the outbreak, if we finally get to see some of those really cool creatures that are man-made, imagine if we finally get to fight like the alien king. I know in the, the comic he didn't really fight the humans, they could kind of mix it up for this game, but there's the alien king and all sorts of really neat stuff they do. I mean, I hope they keep it more alien based and we just don't fight a bunch of generic human enemies. It does say also we're going to be fighting humans in this on their website. Hopefully it's not too much of that. Plus, I find it interesting that it says alien queens with an S, so like plural. So does that hint that maybe we actually fight something bigger than the queen herself? I know there's like the empress, there's all sorts of cool stuff. So that would be kind of interesting. I highly doubt we'll see a queen empress in this game because that's not very common amongst fans, but hopefully we get just something really unique and exciting in this game. But let's just keep the trailer moving and take a look at the next clip. Your squad is controlled fluidly and intuitively as one unit where any command you issue is automatically dispatched to the Marines best equipped for the task. Whether you're using mouse and keyboard or a controller, we want you to be fully immersed in the world and the iconic Aliens experience. Wait, you know what to do. Lead strategically. Enter combat without breaking stride, slowing down time at the touch of a button, just enough to distribute tactical orders with military precision. Tread carefully though, because death is permanent in Dark Descent, and losing a Marine in combat is irreversible. Shut the doors! Forge unique paths for survival. Explore large open levels to complete story missions and side objectives. Come out friendly like, yeah? Don't shoot, don't shoot! I... Level up your loyal Marines with special abilities, perks and gear, and customize the squad composition to optimize each run. Okay, so we have quite a bit to digest there. So for starters, I want to say, in my opinion, I like what they're going for and by making the game what seems to be a much quicker paced 
than other squad based games. I know there's going to be some people that say having the game auto slot which Marine does the commands you issue the squad is dumbing the game down. However, I think this game is supposed to be more of a streamlined experience where you as the player are macro managing the colonial marines instead of micromanaging them. And that may just be fun to play and actually work with this franchise. I have always pictured aliens, especially with where they're fighting the colonial marines, that it should be very quick paced, it should be very frantic, hectic, and all sorts of stuff. So this could work. I mean, I could be completely wrong, and maybe this is just made for a casual audience. We'll just have to wait and see. So before we roll the last part of the trailer, I want to point out some other things I did notice in that clip. First of all, they have the turret in the game. You know the scene in the extended cut of Aliens where they have the auto turrets that are just destroying what seems to be an endless wave of xenomorphs in that hallway? That was so cool. So I love that they have these in the, in the game. I think it's just such an iconic thing to the franchise. And the turrets were not the only interesting I did notice about this clip. But when they showed the screen where you could build your squad of Marines of the weapons and classes, it seems the Marines themselves have personality traits that go beyond just the class itself. So, I mean, look at this guy. It clearly says he has poor eyesight and that his accuracy is reduced by 10. This honestly reminds me of like Rogue Legacy where each character actually has a negative trait to them as well as positive traits to them. It's sort of a given and take type thing so i'm not sure how this will actually translate to gameplay but if done correctly it could add an extra layer of death to more of the strategy side of the game itself now while all this does look cool i did notice one thing that i thought was pretty odd when highlighting an enemy the command of kill that bastard was just kind of weird and it wasn't just that one time when they scroll over and go to the next enemy again you get the message press y to kill that bastard i get that as a mature game and i really don't get offended by foul language in fact i love gears of war and that game is basically f-bomb galore that being said having it in the ui and having it above everyone's head as like a command it just seems like they're trying way too hard it, it's weird. I know it's just a nitpick, but it feels like they're just straight up trying to be edgy or something. I don't know. I think it's just I was not a very big fan of that. It won't stop me from playing the game by any stretch of the imagination, but I was just like, I thought it was just kind of dumb looking. But let's finish up the trailer and then wrap this video up. At Tindalos, we're extremely excited to bring this game to all fans of the legendary Aliens license and to all the real-time action strategy. All right, so I'm just gonna be honest. Overall, this game looks very good. It seems like even if you're not into squad-based games, you may still enjoy this title. Like I said, it definitely seems like this game is going to be a much quicker based and just more focused on a streamlined experience, which is really cool. This is definitely something I'm gonna keep my eye on. I love the Alien franchise. I really can't get enough of it. That being said, I wanna hear what you all think. Are you guys excited about this game? Is it something you will be picking up this summer let me know what type of unique enemies you'd all love to see in the dark descent as well leave a comment down below as for me i got a ton of work to do so i'm gonna get back to the grind and i'll catch y'all next time peace